the last year we started working with um, a, a quite a young skunk, Fifi, mm. who was actually was in the Shropshire Star. She uh, did her first day working in a school in Telford. Um, and then this year she's just had seven babies, which is quite a lot for a, for a first litter. Lovely. And how old are they? Um, they are eight weeks old at the moment, so they've just, they've just, le just left their mum. What are skunks like generally for people who don't know? Um, in America they are actually quite popular as pets and also in England they are becoming a lot more popular. This weekend we were actually at an event um, where there was actually a, a skunk show where it was basically like the skunk version of Crufts and we didn't enter any of our skunks into it but um, there were lots and lots of people there with skunks on leads. What do they need? Um, I'd say they're kind of like a puppy their whole life so you, you know they'll keep you on your toes you need to be looking after them or you know when they're out you need to be able to keep your eye on them. Mm. Um, so they, they can be hard work, but they can be quite uh, chilled out and loving as well. They are very playful, They're like, uh, they play like a kitten quite a lot of the time. The, these guys are chasing us around, stomping at us. Mm. Um, obviously they have got their, their trademark, they can spray. Um, they can, their, their smell that people think it isn't, they don't smell to sniff them. Like, that's what people think, that they're just going to stink, mm. but it's actually just the spray that they, that they spray as, as a defence mechanism. They live underground in the wild, mm -hmm. um, and obviously they eat bugs and insects and stuff. So they will they forage and dig underground. So that's why they've got the sharp claws. But they have got carnivore teeth. They are meat eaters. So if they did want to bite you, they could they could definitely do some damage. <laughs> How important is this litter to your education centre here? Um, I mean, we are always working with schools, um, looking at things like life cycles and stuff. So it's always nice to see, you know generations going through our animals so that we can uh, so that when the kids come they can see babies as well as adults and the animals mm. and what will happen to these seven now will they stay here or are they going to go off somewhere else um, or? as much as i'd love to have another seven skunks running around the education center um we've got them here marked for wildlife parks and um, and other skunky people that um, that we know that they can go to good places yeah.